the Lord, everyone, and um, welcome to the God Solar 7 um, End Time Prophecy Channel. I'm Sister Barbara, and I'm here today with the prophecy I was hearing a few days. Um, let's see, today is um, September 8th, uh, 2021. I think I got this in the range of about 7 a.m. this morning. So join me, <coughs> excuse me, King James Version Bible. I'm going to be in the book of Matthew. You probably should be reading this whole book now. Uh, Matthew chapter 24, <coughs> let's do verse 10. And then many... And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. Okay, that's that's it. Uh, pretty much that's it. Okay, so here is the prophecy. So again, September 8th, uh, 2021. I was hearing this a few days. Um, let's see, what was I hearing over and over? Um, the first uh, few words. The end of all things is at hand. It is written what your eyes will behold in the days to come. Plague, famine, pestilence, death, and war. Many have been called. There we go. There's the Holy Spirit. Few have been chosen. I have sent you out to the multitude to share my words and my ways. I give you my peace. I give you comfort and joy. I give you perseverance to endure the coming days. You will be mocked and hated as I have been without cause. Many who were with you will be against you and betray you for no reason. Families will split. Children will be disrespectful and abusive to parents. You will continue to see a rise in family murdering family members. Continue on the narrow path. The devil wants to sift you. I speak to the simple and the meek to confound the wise and the arrogant. My children, changes are coming rapidly. You must put on the full armor of God daily and know I am with you. How about that? So that has a little bit of everything in there. We know we're at the end. I kept on hearing that over and over. I heard that for days and hours all day long. The end of all things has come. But we're at the end. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And we read about that in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. It's one of the spiritual gifts. And I'm going to say this again. I said it on how many videos. You need to buy a Bible and read it yourself. Don't be expecting someone to give you, uh, let's see, the meaning of the, the verses, scriptures, um, the meaning of the prophecies, and so on. You need to know this yourself. If you don't understand, I said this before, um, Google it and research. That should be like a little light bulb for you. If you're not understanding, that message could be for you. He wants you to research and investigate further. That's how you get to know him. He said, in how many of the prophecies do you know me and my ways? Without reading the Bible front to back, um, maybe more than one time, I know, I've read it several times, you're not going to know him or his ways. Do you understand? Our time is up here. If you don't have a, a relationship with Jesus Christ, you're going to be running around, I'm going to say, like a jet, when all these things, what does he say? Changes are coming rapidly. You must put on your full armor of God. Let me ask you guys, do you know what the full armor of God is? If you read the Bible, you should have a general idea of what he's talking about here. Please research. Please join a Bible study if you don't understand. Our time is up here. I'm going to say this. I said this to someone yesterday. Right now, we're on borrowed time. That's what I call it. We're on borrowed time. Wham! We should be getting anything, uh, there's a disaster, or whatever's coming, we should be getting it quick. He said rapidly, changing. Put the news on, see what's going on. You see all the signs are out there. Everything he said that was going to happen is pretty much happening. I'm begging you, please. Do what you need to do. Get a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. That should be on the top of your list. How about this? Not going out. To, I see all the tents set up over there for some wing ding they're going to have. That should not be what you're looking for. You should be sitting like I'm doing, sitting here praying, saying, please let me be accounted worthy to escape the wrath to come. Not figuring out, gee, let's go shopping. Hmm. Now we got vaccinated. Now we could go here or there. That should not be the goal. 
The goal should be spending eternity with Jesus Christ. I hate to keep on harping on this over and over. I see it. I went out shopping, um, what was that, yesterday? And I see what's going on out there. People just want to get back to normal. I said before, there's not going to be a normal. There isn't. This was the plan all along. Do you understand? If you don't have discerning of spirits and discernment of what's going on, you're going to be completely blindsided by what happens next. We're going to have somebody come to power, and his name is Antichrist. You won't recognize him if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, with the light. Time is up. Again, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You need the Holy Spirit and the discerning of spirits and the spiritual gifts. You need this. Um, read the book of Acts. I'm going to recommend that. Read the book of Acts. See what happened in there. This is why he sent the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, to us. You need this. If you're a Christian and you're a believer, you have to have the Holy Spirit. I don't want to keep on harping on it, but this is a necessity. You're not going to get by without it. When I got the baptism of the Holy Spirit, everything completely changed. I completely changed. You're a new person, brand new. That's the idea of being born again. The things that you used to like, you don't like anymore. That's what I said. Um, my son thought I was insane when I was giving away all the CDs and everything in the car. He's like, Mom, what are you doing? I can't listen to that music anymore. I just can't. You change. You're a new person in Christ. Do you understand? All right, I'm going on and on. Okay, so let's, let's, let's stop there. But please join a Bible study. If you don't understand research, and if you don't get part of the message or you're not understanding, it could be for you. That's my point. I want to thank everyone out there, uh, especially those that help the ministry financially. I see everything going on and, and the prices being jacked up everywhere and everything out of stock. Um, so you, um, thank you everyone that supports the ministry so we can help other people. Um, thank you for all the encouraging comments um, under the video. Um, thank you for all the translations in the other languages. Um, what else? Um, uh, things you sent us in the mail. Uh, Catherine, um, thank you so much. These little cards, I love these. You had such a blessed life. Thank you for sharing that with me. Um, what else did I want to mention? I'm thanking, thanking everyone that sends us all sorts of things. Got lovely cards in the mail. Thank you. Um, it's such a pleasure and joy. I love you guys so much. Um, what else? Um, and then please make sure you're still subscribed to the YouTube channel. I'm still seeing people unsubscribed and telling me that. Um, and then like and follow us on the Facebook pages. Um, I try to put a link under the um, video when I don't when I don't forget. I try to put a link under there to one of the Facebook pages or both or whatever. Am I missing anything else? Just be, please be safe and have have some emergency uh, plans made. Um, extra things on hand. Um, some cash on hand. What was I buying um, over this week? Now I've been prepping. I'm going to say for about two years, uh, buying miscellaneous things. I'm going to run these things that I buy because people ask. Um, I get some, um, let's see, uh, first aid kits, um, things if you're injured, just think about it, just think if you're injured and there's no doctors or hospital, what are you going to do? Um, so I ordered, what did I order? I ordered a, a dental hygienist um, cleaning kit with all the um, instruments like at the dentist, how they clean the, the plaque off your teeth, I ordered one of them. Um, I ordered some dental surgeon um, surgery um, tools. Think about it, you have a toothache um, and all haywire is going on out there in chaos, what are you going to do? can't get to the dentist, everything might be closed down, you don't know what you're going to do. You have to have a plan and be prepared. This is why I usually say to everyone, um, think about a situation, a disaster or something, and think all the different things that can go wrong and things that can happen, and then plan accordingly. That's my point. So I have a little bit of everything um, stored up, some extra cash. Um, make sure. How about this? Um, we found this out the hard way. Um, now, normally we weren't big credit card uh, people spending on the credit card. Um, so we only had one credit card. So what we did was, um, what did we buy? I don't know what we bought, but it was a larger purchase, something not normally that we would buy. So we were out. No, we weren't out. But this is what it, what would happen if we were out. So I went to place my vitamin shop order because I use a lot of supplements. So I'm trying to hit the thing to um, pay with the credit card. And it keeps on telling me it's denied. I'm like, how could it be denied? There's like, I don't even know what was going on here. So I can't do it. So I'm, it's denied. So I have that one credit card. So I called the credit card company. Well, there's a large purchase on there, 
and we didn't want anything else added on there because until someone called. Now, they didn't tell me this. They suspended the credit card until someone called. Thank, thank goodness I called um, because then what the, I learned from that was we needed to have, how about this, two credit cards we use. The main credit card and a backup emergency credit card. So if you don't have that, I'm suggesting you do that. Have two credit cards. The main one you used, you don't want to get, um, like I said, um, carried away on, on putting stuff on the credit card. That's never a good idea. But have a backup one for an emergency. If you don't, you could be stuck. This happened before. Same thing with cash. Have some extra cash on hand. Um, this happened to the store. The um, Let's see, the cash registers were all down. Uh, I don't know if the power or something happened to them. And they announced over the loudspeaker, they said, um, um, the only people that could check out at this point are those having cash. Everybody else left. That's what happened because they were going to pay with the credit card. They didn't have any cash on hand. This could happen in a disaster or an emergency. Think about different things and plan accordingly. That's my point. Well, let's see, am I missing anything? No, just God bless you guys. We love you. I, and I don't want to go on and on because I always have a problem uploading. All right, let's hopefully I could get up here without an issue. So God bless you and be safe. We love you guys. And please don't stop praying. I'm seeing um, prayers answered. Have a safe day.